hey guys welcome back to the channel new growth natural so in today's video i'll be showing you what i use to moisturize my 4c hair while i'm chit chatting to you about how you can actually get your 4c hair to grow longer than mine because i've grown my 4c hair to wait length wait length what happened to my tongue <laughs> I've grown my 4C natural hair to waist length, guys, and I've chopped it off, and now I'm back on the journey again, and it has been like a year. When I said chop it off, I did not do like a ball head chop. I chopped like 10 inches off, 8 inches in some areas, but I'm heading back to waist length soon, and I'm just going to show you what I do to retain my length, because that is the key. Like you don't have great growth issues the only way you have your growth issues is if you're not eating as well you're supposed to or unless you have some type of sickness or if you have alopecia because if you have alopecia it tells me that your hair is falling out it's obviously not growing but if you have hair like mine you're not seeing any bald patches but you think that your hair won't ever get to waist length or it's not seemingly growing then you need to listen up all right so let me show you what i'll be using today to moisturize my hair my hair is in twist let me give you some background as to the what's happening with this hair is in two strand twist i had in braids before i washed my hair with the braids in took them down yesterday and while i whilst i took down the braids i installed these twists all shrunken and matted yeah just because I didn't want to leave my hair out. As a rule, I do not really twist my hair for a protective style simply because my 4C hair locks up on itself. Like within three days, I'll be a rasta. Literally. <laughs> I kid you not. So, I am just going to go through and moisturize my hair because even though I did moisturize my hair before I took the braids down, before I started taking them down, my hair gets dry really easy. Like my hair drinks a lot of moisture. So, in a bit, I'm going to be showing you what I'll be using to moisturize my hair as i redo these twists until i'm ready to reinstall my braids like i said these twists are not my go to protect this style so in a bit guys is what i use to moisturize my 4c hair this is a homemade remedy it has extra virgin olive oil in it black jamaican castor oil the base of it is african shea butter it has rosemary oil it has peppermint oil it has leave-in conditioner so many good stuff in it I'm going to actually link the video on how I made this to the end of this video in the description or I'm just going to add the video to this one, whichever one is easier for you guys. I use this product sometimes, occasionally, mostly when I want to blow dry my hair. Not that it is a heat protectant, but I find that sometimes when I try to blow dry my hair, which I only do like twice per year or once per year, well it's a new year now, anyway, so I may be blowing my, blow drying my hair, sorry, not today of course. But I want to use this in my hair because my hair feels a little bit hard. Not that this can't do the job, but just for precaution, I'm going to use a little bit of this to moisturize my hair as well. This is the male pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. And no, this is not a paid prom promotion, guys. I literally love this product. And any products that you see on here, chances are they're not paid promotions. So I'm just going to using, be using a little bit of this. And I'm just going to take one of the twists and undo it with praying hands and moisturize it. Like I said, this product makes my hair super duper soft. And I notice, especially when I blow dry my hair, it tends to be really hard. This helps to make it really soft after blow drying. And even though I won't be doing that today, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this product first. Then I'm taking my shea butter recipe. I use this generously. Like this is my hair gold, like gold in a jar. This stuff keep my hair from breaking, and that is what is key in length retention. Like even if your hair is growing really slowly, the fact that you're retaining length each and every day, that is where that is what is gonna get you to the waistline goal that you may have. So once I'm done, I'm just gonna be twisting that up. So as I moisturize, occasionally you'll see me doing some finger detangling because my hair tangles easily and I want to make sure I remove any possible shedding here in each section. So I'm just twisting it out of the way. One done. A million more to go. <laughs> So this right here is the reason why I do not like to do two strand twists as a protective style. This knot at the bottom, my hair literally locks up in a matter of three days, least. Like, 
my hair is just clumping and sticking to itself whether or not you moisturize it thoroughly so for this purpose make sure you have a handy dandy scissors nearby if not the first thing you do is to try to detangle the knot if that works then you don't need the scissors obviously but it never pops the hair because that's just going to leave some damage ends and leave room for breakage and other damages as well patience 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 that's the key <laughs> so guys for length retention if you don't remember anything else that was said in this video if you can get your moisture game right if you have type 4 here or any natural texture for that matter that will aid you the greatest in length retention moisturizing correctly keeping your hair moisturized and also being super gentle like you're seeing me doing here in this video so this is not always how I moisturize my hair in terms of products. Sometimes I'm only using my shea butter recipe. Sometimes it's just water and shea butter. Sometimes just water and oils. Like if I do this now, tomorrow I won't be doing this. Tomorrow I'll be just shaking my spray bottle which has water, sometimes olive oil juice or glycerin or honey with some olive oil and castor oil and lightly mist my hair with that just to reactivate the moisturizer that is already in it or the leave-in conditioners that i already have in it and then another two days from that i may go over this entire process again because best believe me within a few hours my hair will be like it was never moisturized i kid you not so um going through my hair doing some finger detangling you'll notice i do not use a comb to detangle and that's key for my length retention right here it's okay if you guys y'all want to use a detangling brush and co combs but my hair breaks easily and it's not that it's super brittle it's just that the curl patterns of my hair and the nature of my hair it breaks easily so i have to be extra cautious some persons i mean do not take care of the hair at all but genetically their strands are much stronger when it comes to type 4 hair especially they are weaker because we have more coils and where the bonds are formed where you have the curls that's weaker so naturally it's gonna snap and break easily and that's our problem that is the issue that we have when it comes to retaining length, just breakage, strictly breakage. So rule number one is don't detangle your hair while it is dry. Like moisturize first, I use this product first, which makes my hair soft. Remember I said that it was hard and then I'm going through finger detangling and then I'm going to go in and add in my shea butter recipe. So that's the first rule. The second rule is if you feel like your hair a certain product is not working for your hair don't be afraid to discard it without even finishing the bottle and that is very important because co continuing to use such products can cause your hair to be even worse than it was in the first place in terms of brittleness rule number three is know your hair's porosity and this is going to be one of the greatest thing when it comes to moisturizing because your hair's porosity determines how well your hair accepts the products that is on it for example if your hair is porous you may want to use thicker creamier products and butters look just look at them curls <laughs> if your hair is low porosity you want to go much lighter sorry for the rooster in the background it's morning it's morning as i'm doing this voice over <laughs> they're saying good morning <laughs> right so if your hair is low porosity you want to go for lighter oils lighter creams and butters and stuff like that because you don't want to have too much um product on your hair weighing it down and stopping the moisture from the environment to penetrate your strand while as porous hair needs something to lock that moisture in and seal your cuticles i hope you understand that's a separate video by itself guys anyway guys enjoy this video see how i thoroughly moisturize this hair and usually i don't do twists like this is just until i braid my hair back up but i have to go through and detangle anyway i will not braid it back up right away because i just took the braids out finally and my scalp is going to be too sensitive to reinstall braids right away so i'm going to wear these twists for a few days maybe three days and of course i'll moisturize and braid them back up